Hello YouTube, how are you doing? I'm gonna change my model today. I've already made videos of it, so I'm not gonna show the whole procedure. Uh, that's a little oil mess, because I did an oil change on my mom's car. The Ford Focus, which is right there. Now for this car, it's a bit different because it takes more. That was 4.3 liters. This engine, 2007 Ford Convict, is 5.7 liters. Yeah, that's a lot. Uh, it's a nice day. It's almost going to be 12 degrees soon, and we're December 15th. Yeah. Now, because my car is high mileage, and it was an extra police car, so there's no milky stuff. Doesn't smell like gas. What I do, I've already ran the car a bit. Engine flush. I do this every second oil change, not every oil change. So one-handed, let's hope I don't spill. Sorry, I'm not talking, I'm squeezing my sphincter. These new lights I put, I put up help a lot. I don't know if you see my older videos, but my original lamps didn't light up as much as this. Now, I used to put sea foam, but not anymore. It's just too much. I don't want to burn my cats. They were very expensive. Try and juice it as much as I can. Usually I don't care, but uh, there's a lot of stuff that's almost sold out, except for toilet paper. Go figure. Okay, put this aside. Cap back on in case I drop it. Put it back on. Oh, sorry. I was just eating. Good thing I'm tiny. Now with the light, the reflection, I'm not sure if you can see how many kilometers I have. 270053. 270,000 kilometers and 53. I bought this car at 188,000 exact. So, Five minutes with this. Now it says to rev it, but I already drove it before, so it's already warm. As you can tell by the reservoir, full. I'm not gonna film all this, so see it. All right, I originally wasn't gonna film this part, but I know a lot of people would get upset. So I'll do my best to show what I do.
For me, it's a 17. Nice chunks. That's, is that a good sign or a bad sign? Now for the oil filter. Not sure if it shows. There it is. Can you see it now? Or it is, I'll wear gloves.
Now notice how it stopped dripping in the pan. Let's see what happens when I take out the filter. Now there's a leak here. We're gonna have to figure that out after I do this. Here we go, seal's broken. Move the old oil filter out of the way. For this, I like to take my time, not rush. Go slow because cleaning up the mess in the garage is not always fun. And I don't know if you can see, it's starting to it's starting to leak back down from the oil pan. Uh, my hands are full of oil. I don't really want to touch the camera now. It's committed. And now you see, as I unscrew it more. There's no more, well, basically almost no oil now. Instead of most people I see on YouTube, they unscrew it and it all just makes a mess. So now it's almost off. And as you can see, almost nothing else. Now this is very hot. And there we go. My hand is on fire. Put that aside. And not much on my hand. Because I take my time, I do it correctly, I don't rush. Now, usually, because I'm in my house, I'm not, this is not someone's car. I usually leave it for on a five, five, ten minutes like this. Properly get out. Make sure I don't hit anything rubber. Ah, shit, I forgot to move the pan. But that's a minor mess. So I can clean that up easily. When I'm done. Now here, my hands are clean. I don't know if you can tell, but it's starting to leak again back at the oil pan, and that's why I wait. See right here, it's starting to leak again. Most people put the plug right back. I like to leave them open for a bit. So because I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna shut off. I'm not gonna let you wait five minutes with me. All right, so it's been an hour. As you can tell, the sun's going down. I filled it halfway with oil. As you can see by the shine, I lubed in too. Now this is as low as my stand can go, so I hope you can see it. The tricky part is always not to spill too much oil.
And you see, because I only filled it halfway, nothing leaked. So because I don't detect any leaks, I can move this aside, make some room. Always slowly so you don't spill it. And it gives me easy access to see where I have to clean after. I re-clean my plug. Yeah. It really helps when you get the car way up. I don't know if you can see my breath. It's getting, it's pretty cold, but still. Some things you gotta do. Okay, that stopped moving. Stand back doorbell. Now, unfortunately, I forgot about the crush part. I didn't buy one. And it's already past five. Stores are closed, so. I'm a bit of, well, no choice. That's how I do it. Halfway, give it a big squirt. Get rid of the stains. When I'm almost in, I give it a final squirt. Clean off the edges. And when it's on tight, another squirt to get rid of all the crap. This way, when I start it, I can see if there's a leak or not. Okay, now it's at the now it's stopped. Because I didn't buy another crush, I'm not gonna do it too much. Okay, just that. So that's my fault for not buying that part. on tight I forgot you can see the number right there part number FL820 slash S for a Ford Crown Vic and that's from the oil that dropped before okay now because because my car is high mileage, this is what I buy. Full synthetic, made for natural gas. Next. I like Shell products. They've always done me good. 
Now this is the leftover from my mom's Ford Focus, which held around, this is around 0.7. So since the car needs 5.7, this is a good investment. Now for me, I always put the smaller quantity first. As you see, I got two five liters. So I put the 0.7, leaving it there. I count to roughly 2030, which is basically by the time I finish saying this. Then I go back under and I look for leaks. So far, so good. Nothing there. Now for the filter. No leaks. Clean as a whistle. Not too tight. Never tighten things too much. No reflection of oil and light. So I'd say we are good to finish this. shiny spot maybe if I get up this will be easier another good investment always take care of your tools so this is the oil from my car that's pretty disgusting. This is oil from my mom's car. You can still see the bottom. But this is black as black. And it stinks very badly. Always make sure you have a clear room space. Well, that was a mistake. Fuck. Well, it's gun on the headers. So when I start the engine, it might make a little smoke show. That's my fault. It's going to be interesting. And I'll use this for the old oil, but I'm still missing one container from a, the other car.
I made a mistake. I don't got a proper footing. That's why my arms are shaking. Always make sure your feet are spread wide enough because they're going to be here for a while. Let me try and change my footing. Okay, there we go. Now, one last check. Nothing. Not a drop. Whew. Not easy getting old. I'm 47. Oops. Normally you see me always smoking in my videos for obvious reasons. I'm not going to smoke now. And for the price this cost, I'm milking every drop. These used to be between 10 and $15 before the pandemic. I got the receipt I'll show you. So, at the most, at the most, I paid $15 with tax 10 something, pre-pandemic. Yeah, you see that right, 32 each. Comes up to $86. Thank you, COVID. This is the pandemic of greed. That's it, pure and simple. There is no shortage. Maybe, yeah, for electronics and certain things, but food, there is no shortage. I don't believe that for a second. I forgot to tell. Always, always use something underneath. So this is on good. We validated and verified that there's no leaks. So now the card is lifted up. So I'm gonna to have to lower it to get a proper reading. But I'm just making a rule on the desk for my stand. We're going to start it up. 
let the oil filter through, then I'll put it back down. No leaks. And the oil light is gone. That little whoosh is a cone. I love cone. All right. So that's it. A little change for Crown Vic. Apart from that little stupid leak because I wasn't paying attention, nothing else. Coolant's topped off. Power steering's good. Brake steering's good. New battery terminal is holding up. The old one used to come off every time I hit a bump. You can imagine how many times this car stalled. I used to clean it. I think you guys have seen other videos but the water would leak into my injectors and make tons of corrosion and it would rust the fucking uh, spark plugs, which would be a nightmare to get out. So in my case, I'm not cleaning it. Maybe I'll take a little wet sponge and clean certain things, but the hose thing, I'm not doing that no more. Yep. So I'll bring it down. We'll take you for a little quick spin. All right, so I lowered the car. Yeah, it's amazing. I always forget how low this car can get compared to most other cars I've owned. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this, but some of you who know me in real life know this. I've had a lot of concussions, most of them in my time in the Army, and the rest during my past previous jobs. If you remember in the video, I had two of these. One of my main symptoms or one of my main problems, I have a very short-term memory problem. Uh, I can't find my second one. I looked in the car. Yeah. Like I've lost a lot of things lately or forget where I put them. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah. What I was going to say, not only is having a 4K camera a lot better, but investing in cheap, well, these aren't cheap, but investing in lights is also a recommendation. So now that the car is started, We can now see if there's enough oil. Okay, I don't know if it's obvious. It's just underneath the second notch where my thumb is. It's roughly here. Let's check it again. I used to always, on my old Chevys and the beginning of this car, 
I always put it the second notch, but then I learned on my last job at Canadian Tire not to do that. If you ever notice power steering fluid or the coolant when an engine is warmed up to op optimal temperatures or when you accelerate hard, these two go up. Well, it's the same thing for the oil. The oil level goes up. Same thing. Just just at the end of the notches before the, the hole. So for me, that's a win. A lot of my friends who do this, they do what you call eyeballing. Never do that. Always measure the volume you put in. I was gonna take off, but I forgot one crucial thing. Yeah. 